I don't know why so many North Americans believe that the blues started in the United States when everyone knows they began in Peru many thousands of years ago. The Samponia, the pan pipe to you, was the original blues instrument. I learned the pipes from my grandfather and he learned from his grandfather before him. If I have a mission in life, it is to bring the recognition of the true origin of the blues to the whole world. That is why I play the blues. Also to meet young women. Perry, 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 Perry. The blues, that most American of art forms, was in reality born thousands of years ago high in the Andes Mountains in what is now the country of Peru. Indian shepherds, keeping a watchful eye over flocks of alpacas, would pass many a lonely night with only the company of a set of panpipes. Senor Barry Bradini is the foremost living practitioner of this purest form of the blues. And now, Senor Bradini is performing in the United States with the group Feo e Loco on a mission to spread the blues in our country and to meet young women. But first, we need to go back to where it all began. This rare footage recently came to light in Peru. It was taken by agents of the Peruvian government who were afraid of Senor Bradini's ability to mobilize the masses. All we know for certain is that this footage was taken at a bar in Cusco, Peru about 1928. We can see Senor Bredini performing the ancient Peruvian blues standard, El Condor Caca. Who actually took the footage remains a mystery. But even in 1928, we can see the greatness in Senor Bredini, long before his name became a household word throughout Latin America. Many people accuse me of being, how you say, the chameleon, that I change from moment to moment. This is not true, I am always the great Bredini, always the same. For a woman to offer her breast to be signed is a mark of great respect for the artist. I suppose you North Americans find it strange, but women find the experience quite stimulating. It is an ancient custom in Peru, going back many thousands of years. I like to continue this tradition in the United States in honor of my ancestors who began the blues in the distant mists of time. I also get the phone numbers of many attractive young women. Feo y Loco is a very exciting band. I first met them in 1990 at Machu Picchu in Peru during my annual performance there. There were thousands of people in attendance. I autographed over 900 breasts that day. Feo y Loco was enthralled by my performance and they invite me to come and tour with them in the United States. I dreamed that night of a condor eating a tuna fish sandwich on rye and I realized from this dream I am destined to go to the United States. I, I first met Barry Bradini in the, the men's room at the airport, and um, he was selling combs, and well, I didn't need a comb, but, you know, I figured, I mean, he was jamming on the blues pan pipes, and I mean, it was, it was far out, I mean, you know, uh, am I getting paid for this? Yeah, man, we know Barry Bradini. Him a cool cop, man. Him sell brother Jim a comb. Show the man the comb.
Terry Bradini will be performing with Feo y Loco all across America. Check your local newspaper for performance dates in your area.